Fumble fam, it's your girl Chris. Thanks for watching The Fumble. For all of the latest news on your favorite athletes, make sure you hit subscribe. After a long drought, the Redskins finally got a win over the Jaguars to keep their playoff hopes alive. But one player might have partied a little too hard while celebrating. Washington Redskins safety Monte Nicholson was arrested on assault and battery and public intoxication charges following a Tuesday morning incident in Ashburn, Virginia. The reported victims, an adult male and an adult female, were located at the scene. An investigation determined Nicholson assaulted the male victim, while the girlfriend assaulted both the male and female victims. She is believed to have struck the female victim with a bottle. Wow, a ride or die that every man dreams about. <laughs> Nicholson and the female suspect were later arrested and held at the County Adult Detention Center. Nicholson was released on a $2,500 bond, and it seems that he left his girlfriend in there to suffer alone. She has a good man on her hands, doesn't she? The Redskins released a statement saying, we are aware of the arrest of Monte Nicholson, and we are gathering more information. We will not comment until we have further details. Hmm. He was barely drafted in the fourth round last year and has 41 tackles thus far this season. So my guess is the Redskins will put out a statement soon saying, Goodbye, Monte Nicholson. It was nice knowing you. Good luck. So today's story is nothing new in the world of football. Another NFL player in the news charged with assault. I'm so surprised. The Redskins have had a rough season this year and many called an all-out collapse. There are even suggestions that the team owner, Daniel Snyder, could soon fire the head coach, Jay Gruden. With rumors swirling, reporters started questioning the head coach about his future with the team. Gruden stood firm and answered the media blatantly saying, it's a stupid question because we, as coaches, have no control over it. We can get fired at halftime. We can get fired tomorrow. You can get fired after the season. I have no idea. So we just have to go to work. As long as the key works, I'll give it everything I got. I'm pretty loyal that way. Gruden is under contract through 2020 campaign after signing a two year extension in 2016, which includes $10 million in a fully guaranteed money. In another interview with ESPN, Gruden continued to say this about the possibility of getting fired. It doesn't weigh on me at all. My key works. I come in and work. I understand it. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine, and then you're not fine. I'll wait to get final word when the season is over. The Redskins are now 7-7. Seven and seven. If you want to see more of your girl, you can follow me on the gram at the Chris Exclusive. Thanks for watching The Fumble. I'll see you next time.